guys so it's finally a nice and sunny day i've got some food for the chickens here and they're all here looking mighty fine i can't believe how big the baby chicks have gotten like i don't think i can even call them baby chicks anymore they're huge they're probably like four months by now or even more like here they are they've just gotten so big look at them whoa these little chickens be nice you see big so i do need to find homes for at least these this one and that one because i do think that they're both um you know um males so roosters meaning they need to be rehomed again if i had like actual land i would keep them all but i don't have that so yeah gotta watch my back from this rooster guy because he is willing to attack especially when i don't expect it he'll do it But yeah, they've gotten really, really big. So I do believe that one over there is a female, of course, and then the two other roosters, which I need to rehome. I was thinking of keeping maybe that one back there and then rehoming him. But if I do want them to have chicks and, you know, breed, it won't be good because then he'll end up breeding with his mom, which is, I don't even know honestly which one is his mom. Even though she raised him and that one did, could be any of these chicks, could be his mother. Kind of weird though because they all like turned out to be black even though we have some different colors in the flock well the main color is black the main body of the babies are black i don't want to rehome them because they're so cute but it's time and it'll be good to rehome them while they're young so that they can establish into their new um families and such i hope though wherever they do get uh end up going that they don't end up being eaten see if we lived in like a farm or like a bigger land space where we could have any amount of chickens and any amount of roosters and it didn't matter and we didn't have as close neighbors then i would have kept both of them but or at least one of them but for the now, we really can't do that. It just sucks. You can see the baby birds in the back corner over there. Or not baby birds, the young, smaller birds like finches. He's being quite friendly because I have my stick here. Otherwise, he would be eating me up. I'm trying to see if he still has this collar on him. So it doesn't make a difference. Is he gonna <coughs> Okay, not too bad. So now I'm just walking this little ratatouille Zeus, who of course loves to tangle himself up. Crazy boy. It was sunny earlier, but I think now it's starting to get dark, so it's less sunny. Susie boy. So I tied the rope around his chest because I don't have a harness, but it stops him from pulling like he does, which is nice. Today is cleaning up the chicken coop day. I emptied most of it out. The pine shavings we had in here turned into like mud, which is good for compost pile. So we threw that in the garden and then we got new ones here. We've laid the pine shavings in here and we drilled two buckets in here for the nesting. So it looks good. The nesting boxes used to be up here, but they pooped on them, so we removed them. And now they've got some here. So they got fresh water and some food here. We got some grits that help them lay eggs. 
give them harder eggs. Harder eggshell. Right, chickies? Ready? Just how cute they are. Look at that hairstyle that one's got back there. She's got the same hairstyle as that mama back there, so I think that's its mom. So I think this one and that one have the same mom because they have the same hairstyles, and then this one's mom could be either one of these. Because the only one with funky hair is the mama back there, and she's one of them that did raise the babies too. some videos to remember these guys by because it is going to be time to find them some homes it's gonna be sad but it needs to be done these two and I can always breed more again or have some more in the future look at them they're so gorgeous I do think this is a hen though so I'm keeping this one I'm thinking it definitely is a hen could be wrong if it turns out to be a rooster I will rehome it but I know for sure that those two are definitely roosters they're very skittish of me right now here he is yeah Hi, pretty. Hi. Hi, my mus. That's my favorite girl. She's the one who comes really close to me and isn't as skittish. So I've come to check to see if there's any eggs. Nope. We made these custom little egg things. Egg baskets, whatever. It's just buckets you drill into the wall. And then there you go. Set. I will be one. In the future, I'm gonna remake this coop. But for now, it is what it is. So, yeah. I'm such a weirdo who dances outside that car. Alright, so now I'm in the car. Um, I went to the library, printed out my resume, like five copies of it so far. Um, that was pretty great. The lady that was very useful and very helpful. It's been forever since I've been to the library, like legit forever since forever. I've read a book too, which I need to do that too. So I signed up for, uh, I almost said gym membership. I signed up for a library card and all that good stuff. So that is taken care of. And then, um, I turned in one of my uh, work resumes to a restaurant, so hopefully they'll be hiring me soon. And um, also, what else did I do? I'm now I'm at the oh, I, then I went and got food. I made some McDonald's as a cheat meal. I, I ate it. Now I'm at the beach, just fooling around. I'm gonna check out the waves a little bit. Then I'm gonna go to the gym, and then I'm probably gonna go head home, and then see where else they're hiring online, apply online, and then see if I can take my resume somewhere. Cause some of the places here want to. Like only accept resumes or whatever. Ew, look at that stupid pimple. Just great. I don't really get pimples as much, but nice. How how jolly is that? But anyways, um, I've been having way too much fun like out here. I was just dancing, enjoying it, the scenery. And now I'm gonna go to the beach a little bit and just watch the ocean. And I think the sunset's gonna be going down. It's only three right now, so you know how it starts getting dark around four or five ish. So yeah, I guess I will um see y'all in a bit. Lewis and Clark observations. <clears throat> Monotonous, cool. The beach. Why would someone carve their stupid name on here? I 
think they did. So guys, I am on the beach. Well, at the beach. I'm on the boardwalk right now. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I used to come here all the time. I don't do it often anymore. I don't know why. Because usually I always come alone. And again, I am alone. And sometimes it's fun to come with someone else, but... Yeah. Okay then. There's a seagull up there. It's incredibly beautiful. Let me show you. Here it is. There's a seagull up there. If I ever move from this town, I'm gonna sure miss the beach. It's the only good thing about it. Minus the fun little events that happen, but other than that, I don't know. Because when I lived in California, I never really went to the beach. I used to think Santa Cruz was so far away, which is where we would go when we went to the beach, but it, it isn't actually. It wasn't really far from where I lived, but I thought it was. just so breathtaking. Look at this shipwrecks of the beach. Wow. There's the Isabel Betty M. Vorovisky. I don't know how you pronounce that. Excuse me. That's so sad. Admiral Benson. Are these really all shipwrecks that happened here? Or are these people? I think these are people. Oh no. All these names. Slash boats. That's so sad. Wow. Just want to take one more close look. Oh, and they have like all these type of, I don't know, type of ships, boats. So sad. Can you just imagine all of this? 1925, 1904, the list goes on. It's just too many people. Too many people on too many boats. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the seagull here. Hello there, buddy. Hi. What's up? I don't got any food for you today. Sorry. So I put my hair up, put my head on, because it's kind of windy and a little bit cold. So there's a boat over there. Wow kind of close to the surface but not as near either way I want to show you it so let's go and look at it it is literally so quiet out here you can pretty much hear is the waves, the ocean, some birds, and that's pretty much it. Look at that, it's so beautiful out here. I'm trying to go up here and show you that boat. Oops. Okay, so there's the boat she's seeing that sign about all the shipwrecks and then there's a boat there <coughs> I don't know what they're doing maybe crabbing but yeah it's quite near the surface if you ask me it's so nice out here I do remember once I did see a big dead seal see, uh, no actually dead whale over there huge those things are humongous you guys like So gorgeous. Oh my god. Well, it's about to be a sunset soon. And all the way back there, I think I see a boat. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but there's something shiny. Maybe it's the boat's light. Could be wrong. Again, I am not sure. I wish I had like a place right there. 
I would never get tired of this view here. Never. Okay, you can hear some weird sounds there. It's probably construction of some sort. But I don't know. Anyways, just look how beautiful this is. I would go close to the waves, but it's just too cold. Too, too cold for me. It's so cold. I hope I don't get sick. So cold. My hands are freezing. Can't wait to get in the car, turn the heat up. <sighs> too cold. Too, too, too cold. I remember usually when I went to the beach, I'd come in like, you know, skirt dress because I love wearing dresses and then it'd be too windy because it would be nice and sunny at my house and then I get to the beach and whew, it'd be windy so I was like shit 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 pardon my French but yeah so walking back I took some green white photos I'm gonna take some more just because I like doing that because it makes the place feel hundred times open with photos that are green white they got a poop bag thing here for dogs which is good where people can hang out. There's another cute save the bird sign. So cute. Oh well, there's seagulls over there. I think maybe someone's feeding them. Or maybe something else. I don't know. Water fountain if you get thirsty. Let's just... I need to stop talking so quietly. I'm so shy to film in public like this. I'm still a little nervous. Being watched, looking like a weirdo, talking to myself. I don't know. But I have to stop caring. It's, you know, so part of being a successful YouTuber is don't be shy to film. Don't be shy. Because being shy won't get me anywhere. Signs like these that made me chuckle. It says, please no bicycles, mopeds, or horses. Do people really bring horses on here? This just doesn't seem safe for a horse. Maybe it can hold, hold a horse, but I don't know. That's insane. And of course, leash your pets. I love that freaking law and rule. Alright guys, so I'm in the car now, and I just realized I'm such an idiot. I did not bring my gym bag. I have gym clothes and everything. Already, I already have gym clothes on. Sorry, I'm looking at this cut on my hand, but I don't have my headphones as I was talking in my mukbang. I just need headphones and I forgot my mother fudging headphones. Ignore my stomach once again. Actually, maybe maybe I might have some in here. Maybe because I feel like I did have something in here a while back. Let me check real quick. Okay, so yeah, I just realized that the headphones that I do have, they do work, but they're very staticky and kind of get old but I guess that'll do so I'm gonna go to the gym head home and then I don't know what's gonna happen after that but yeah I just missed getting a vlog out for you guys I just wanted to get a vlog out for y'all so y'all could have something to watch other than just me not uploading and things so well I have been uploading but I want to upload a little bit more like you know at least every other day like I've been trying to do for the last past year or two but anyways I guess I'll see you guys in the in a bit or I don't know if this is gonna end here or what's gonna happen but see y'all I guess I don't know hey guys so I'm at the gym there's nobody here it's been a while since nobody's been here I did not notice but they have two TVs up there I did not notice that before I don't know why but they have it nobody's here it's just me and I'll show you my gym outfit for today this is my gym outfit Alright, so I'm done at the gym, guys. I'm so tired, like, ugh. just weak. I need to see if I can figure out to make some drinks that might help me. Sorry, I'm looking for this stupid thing. But nobody was in here the entire time I've been in here, so that's great. Now we just head home. Hey, guys, I officially have a stalker. Look at him. He'll keep going around his tank, doing a little bit of his business there, whatever he does, and then comes back and stares at me. He's like my dog Seuss. Same behavior. Got a big belly, I keep feeding him. Hey 
can't even function, you guys. This is by far the best saltwater fish I have had. It's Blennies. Like, they're just so cute. Especially this guy. He has a major personality. It took him about a couple of weeks to adjust to, you know, the tank and adjust to me. And he wasn't as this, like, wild as I noticed. There this much personality until about a week or so. It's really starting to show. So I guess he's getting comfortable now and getting used to me. But he's just so cute. Just so cute. And by the way, my clownfish did pass away, unfortunately. So it's just him here, which is okay with me. But I'm in love with him. I am in love with this guy. Watch. This is what he does. He swims away. Goes around and about doing his business, whatever he does. And then comes back and looks at me. It's like he's... He reminds me of my dog Zeus, like the small one. Because he... My dog Zeus will look at us and... And then he'll stand on his back legs when he wants something, either to go outside or when he wants a snack or whatever. He does that for attention. And then, freaking, this fish is the exact same thing. It's like owning a dog. He's like back here. But you guys, if you have room for a blenny, definitely get this fish. They're just freaking amazing. I'm looking up the reviews on him, a lot more blenny, and a lot of people are also saying that their fish keeps staring at them and I'm just like wow same thing this guy stares at me too beautiful so if you guys have room in your tank and you know it goes um, if it's if he's a right fit for your tank too and you then definitely get this guy I just totally recommend him he's just so cute I love him he's back over there but he's in here by himself with a snail um, a tiny snail this coral got damaged. I, I just suck with saltwater fish. But I do like this rock. This rock is very nice looking. I'm probably going to get another rock to place on top and give him more climbing, um, higher climbing spots and places for him. But I'm just in love with this guy. I don't know what it is. He's awesome. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.